uh, a tickumentary. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, tickled is a is a documentary thriller that is alternately funny and scary in a way that is unlike any other documentary you're ever likely to see. When I first heard about Tickled, I think, like a lot of people who go and see the film, I hope at least, they'll be intrigued by the title and by the idea of tickling being perhaps a competitive sport and what on earth can that involve. But then you discover that the film is about something much more. It's, it's, it's a suspense movie. It's quite heart in mouth in places. And what I love about it is that it's the little guy against the big guy. And that's always the great story, David versus Goliath. Bullying touches a primal nerve in humans, I think. And it's the one we have when we're children, when we shout that things aren't fair. Uh, injustice is something that makes us smolder. And bullying is perhaps the worst and most primitive kind of injustice. And we want to set it right, and we want to see the bully put down, and we want to see the bullied rise up. Well, I, I used to hate tickling because I was so ticklish. I actually really, it was like pain to me. I mean, I screamed and I, I shouted and I let go, let go, let go, but it, I can't ever remember enjoying it. It was like a kind of punishment. Um, but to see others being tickled is the oddest experience. I, don't, I, I mean, you know, I'm gay and it's all young men who are tickling each other, but I've never seen anything less erotic in my life, personally, to me. But, but, but it is... Uh, clearly erotic for some people, and that's fine, you know, and they want to judge if everyone's willing. Um, but it is, it is when you put something domestic and familial and to do with friendship and youth and childhood together with the sort of sham erection of, you know, sportswear giants and, um, and the sort of pretense that it's a tournament and an international thing, it becomes hilarious. It would be like, you know, like International Hunt the Thimble or something. It's just preposterous. I think what's so marvellous about the film is very quickly a dark note comes in. It's, this is not a film that's just going to giggle at the silliness of people who think tickling is fun. You realise this is something else is at stake. Very quickly, y y you see that something's being uncovered, um, and it's dark and it's sinister and it's unpleasant, and it first expresses itself in, in homophobia of, of the worst kind. I mean, threatening and, un and vicious and totally uh, 20 years out of date. I mean, just not how people talk anymore. And that, that sets your dander up, you know. And you're also thinking, who are these women who are writing emails that are so threatening and then they're the lawyers of these women? And part of you begins to doubt it because you think, whoever is responsible for this tickling amongst young men, can they really say that they disapprove of anything gay because I think as David says in the voiceover he's never heard of anything more gay in his life it's the gayest thing there ever was so what's going on here and you know I have to stress that what's so great about the film and I really do watch it with drying mouth and thumping heart is is how it starts to get scary you you know these these two guys Dylan and David are basically um, confronting someone with what seems to be an unlimited power and money. And that could mean a beating up, it could mean a, you know, an imprisonment, something really worrying. And so it makes it an exciting quest, to say the least. I'm, I'm the, I worry my agents and people because I do take risks sometimes in life. And, you know, the culture we live in now, there are these Indiegogos and Kickstarters and things like this, and, and people come up with projects and ask for support. And I have supported a few projects uh, that, that appeal to me, and, and Tickle was one. And, and I supported it reasonably heavily, I mean, I, uh, and therefore might be considered to take a risk with money, but it wasn't the money, really. You're, you're taking a risk with your name. If your name's attached to it and it looks like a shoddy piece of work or cheap or, uh, or indeed a legally dangerous piece of work, then, you know, there is quite a risk uh, to one's name and um, liability. Uh, uh, but something about, something about the, the pitch appealed to me and, again, without sounding sentimental or absurd, it's just... I tend to trust New Zealanders 
<laughs> more than I would even British people. I just thought, and you know, I did a little digging, found out that David was a real person, had real experience in programme making at, at, the, at the more comic local news end, of course, <laughs> as the film shows at the beginning, which is hilarious. Um, so I, yeah, I just took that, I took that risk and I was thrilled to do it. It's, it's an exciting way of living. I would never want to invest on the stock market. I would never want to invest uh, or uh, on horses or bet in that way. But but this kind of thing, is, I think there's there's lower risk and higher reward, and they're, and they're both personal rather than financial.